Hey guys, it's time to show off some of the uh, Christmas swag. Um, wanted to show this today. I'm actually going to do two videos on this. Uh, first is uh, on the X itself, and second, I'm going to do uh, a video about the, the potential uses for this as a uh, prepper, bushcrafter, whatever. So, what we have here is the uh, Council Tool Miner's Axe, and it's also known as a uh, Faller's Axe. Um, by some other companies, but uh, traditionally it's known as a miner's axe. And uh, what it is, is pretty much a three and a half pound Dayton pattern single bit axe on a 20 inch handle. And it was uh, originally designed for use in mines when you would be uh, quite limited in space and couldn't swing a full sized axe. And uh, a hatchet just wasn't big enough to do the job, so this is kind of a nice in between. It's meant to be used from like a, a kneeling or a sitting position. Two-handed use. It's a little too heavy for one hand. And uh, really cool uh, product. Now this is Council Tool. These guys have been around a long time and making axes a long time. And they are one of the few people still making axes in America. And it's one of the main reasons why I picked this up is because it does in fact still made in America. And uh, that's a big deal price on this is $35. You can get it on Amazon. There's also a lot of other websites. I believe uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works carries it as well, but maybe for a few bucks more. Um, like I said, it's simple. You know, three and a half pound Dayton pattern. Single bit. It takes a traditional single bit eye. So uh, if you do decide down the line, you buy this and you want to trade it out for a longer handle, you can actually do that. One of the cool parts about the pattern is uh, it's pretty interchangeable and you don't have to uh, get a specific miner's axe handle for it. So let's take a look at this up close. You can see it's got the council tool sticker on it. It says made in America. got a C and a 13 which I'm assuming stands for Council Tool 13. 13 is probably the year it was made. has a red paint over most of it. Now one of the things I do like is Council Tool actually makes a proper axe head. You can see the shape is actually uh, very good for an all-around axe. It's uh, thin enough on the bit where it's going to be good for uh, chopping but also is uh, wide enough in the cheeks where it should split fairly well. Also, it's a good combination of the two. A lot of modern axes are very uh, wedge-shaped, and they do not lend well to either task because they're meant to do both. So when something's meant to do both, they don't do either necessarily well, and this is a better compromise and a much better shape, as you can see, because it has a really nice thin bit to it. Another thing I do like is the edge does not have a secondary bevel. A lot of uh, axe makers out there nowadays are uh, putting a secondary bevel like you would see on a pocket knife onto their axes and it completely completely ruins the geometry. So this you can see here it's just a plain convex edge with no secondary bevel whatsoever on it. The head is nice and square to the handle so they did a really good job uh, hanging this axe as you can see there's just a wooden wedge in here there's no metal wedge holding it in I don't see any signs of epoxy or glue which is pretty common when you have uh, loose heads you know lots of places are just throw a little epoxy in there and let it run I don't see any issues with that there the fit is good on both sides the balance is good on it. It doesn't seem to be off center or anything like that. The head's nice and straight. So real happy with that. Um, handle has a proper grain alignment. It's not perfect. It's a little off center, but uh, it is at least running the right direction, which a lot of axe makers don't make. It's a nice straight grain. You can follow the grains on the back all the way down the entire length of it, which is really good. So. Overall, quality on this for a $35 axe is very impressive, guys. Um, most $35 axes you're going to get, you know, you go to a hardware store, 
are going to be foreign made kind of junk that uh, has a lot of quality control issues and this one right here actually uh, doesn't really have any it's very well put together and you know it's not perfect perfect you know you, you can tell just by seeing you know some of the has some finish and some little dents in it and stuff like that but really no big deal at all considering it's 35 bucks you know if you do want a perfect axe you do gotta move up in price from there um let's talk about performance i took this into the back a little bit did a little bit of uh light chopping it's about 10 degrees out this morning so i didn't do too awful much because the wood's really frozen it chops good a miner's axe is pretty difficult to use you got to understand it's a it's a specialty tool it's meant to be used you know from your knees because it doesn't have much of a palm swell so you have to be very careful when you swing it because it's very easy for this to slip out of your hands it's a lot of weight on a short handle um, and I'm probably going to do some mods. I'm probably going to put a little lanyard hole in it. Maybe even uh, build up the palm swell with some uh, handle tape or something like that. But uh, performance, it performed just as, uh, you know, you would expect. We had one of these actually when I was in Boy Scouts. It was a smaller axe head. I think it was like a two and three quarter pound on a, a 20 inch handle there. And we always use that in Boy Scouts a lot because it was a good compromise between a hatchet and an axe. Especially when you're... Uh, packing in long distances so we tend to actually have a couple of these laying around but I think they weren't made that way I think the handle is just broken people uh, cut them off and that's how they ended up but it can be a, a pretty good tool to use for uh, light chopping, limbing, pruning, um, splitting small bits of woods and all that so overall great tool for the price uh, my kids waking up from his nap so I'm going to cut this short. In the $35 price range, it's really tough to beat. You know, you're not going to get much else in that price range that's this good of quality and American made. Um, your biggest competitor, of course, will be E-Swing with the all metal handles and all that, but this might be more your ticket. And just wanted to share, Council Tool has a whole bunch of tools made in America. Axes that you can pick up that are relatively cheap and uh, still pretty good quality. So, hope you guys enjoyed.